Hello guys, welcome again to my channel, Algem Civil Engineering. Today we are going to talk about minimum lateral tie bar diameter used for tied columns. When buildings are built, you see structures like this. These are called columns. The most common cross section of column is either square, rectangular, or circular, but it may take any geometrical form depending on the design and purpose. Tied columns has reinforcement consisting of vertical bars which is called longitudinal or main reinforcement bars. These are held in position by lateral reinforcement called lateral ties. The ECI code was specific as to the size of lateral ties with respect to the size of main reinforcement bar. According to the ECI code, all non pre stressed bars for tied columns shall be enclosed by lateral ties of at least number 3 bar size for longitudinal bars number 10 or smaller, and at least number 4 size for number 11, 14, and 18, and bundled longitudinal bars. The spacing of the ties shall not exceed 16 longitudinal bar diameter or the least dimension of the column. So what does this code mean? This means that first, a number 3 or 10 mm size steel bar is required for lateral ties if the main reinforcement bar of the column is number 10 or smaller bar, which means a 32 mm size main reinforcement bar and smaller. Second, a number 4 or 12 mm size steel bar is required for lateral ties if the main reinforcement bar of the column is number 11 bar and bigger, which means 36 mm size main reinforcement bar and bigger. To better understand the bar number of steel bars and its equivalent diameter size in millimeter, take a look with this table. As we can see, bar number 2 is equivalent to 6 mm diameter steel bar, bar number 3 is equivalent to 10 mm diameter steel bar, bar number 4 is equivalent to 12 mm diameter steel bar, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet. See you!